Get in, losers. We're going Christmas shopping. Okay, so it is December 23rd, and just like every single year, I am again doing everything at the last minute, but that's okay because it always gets done. So today I thought I would just take you guys along with me on some Christmas shopping escapades. Basically, I have to get all of the groceries and food that I need for Christmas Eve food, Christmas baking, Christmas breakfast, and Christmas dinner. So like four different things I'm buying food for. But then I also need to get a few last minute gifts and some stocking stuffers. So we are starting out at Hibbit Sports where we're going to look for some shoes for Connor. He wants a new pair of shoes for Christmas along with maybe some clothes. All right, so I ended up getting him this Jordan Air Jordan sweatshirt and then this pair of Air Jordans were on sale actually. They were like $50 off. Um, this kid is, how old is he? 11? He wears a size 11 in men's. It's like his feet are bigger than mine are. All right, so next up we are headed to Hy-Vee to grab some groceries. I've got my list ready to go. I need some Prosecco for Christmas morning. We're gonna do mimosas, so I'm gonna grab a couple bottles of this. All right, I'm gonna grab a small red onion. on sale for $2.49, so that's not bad. I'm also gonna grab some broccoli because I'm gonna make some broccoli salad. I do need Miracle Whip for a couple recipes. And the Hellman's is on sale and the Duke's is not, so we're gonna get Hellman's. I need Crispix because I am gonna make some Crispix mix, AKA Chuck's mix. All right, so I have never made a prime rib at home before, but you know, there's a first time for everything. So we're gonna make one actually for Christmas with my sister. I'm not even sure the best one to get, but this one should be good. I'm also gonna make macaroni salad, so I need some egg elbows. I'm going to get some pre-cut cheese just to make my life a little bit easier. I'm gonna get some Cheez-Its for my um, Chex Mix or Crispix Mix. It feels like I've been here forever. Um, not forever, but I've been here over a good hour, so I'm gonna head over to Walmart now. You know, hy V was not as bad as I thought it would be, but I bet it will be like way worse tomorrow. And also, it is super warm. It's like 55 degrees here today, like what the heck. I gotta get the dogs some stuff for their stockings. Yes, we give our dogs stockings. <laughs> I fear that I have waited too long to purchase Rolos because I can't find any. <laughs> I'm literally buying like the single Rolos. <laughs> yep. Three and a half hours later, I am done. I ended up having to get a couple of things that were not really what I intended to get. I want to make some of that. Um, you know that sherbet punch with like uh, lime sherbet and you know 7-Up or whatever? Walmart doesn't have any other sherbet other than orange and rainbow. And so I had to get orange sherbet, which is fine. Uh, or raspberry sherbet would be good too. And then for the Rolos, <laughs> I ended up buying just like eight like regular packs of Rolos because that's all I could find. So I got the dog stuff. I got Kira's stocking, Connor's stocking, Adam's stocking. I didn't really feel much in Walmart because I was just grabbing stocking stuffers. So I can probably show you those tonight once I get home and get everything put away. But I am gonna get uh, Panda Express for dinner because I am most certainly not cooking after all this today. All right, so here's all the groceries that I got, mostly from Hy-Vee, a few things from Walmart. So. I did get some broccoli because I'm gonna make some veggies with dip, but then I'm also going to make some broccoli salad. So I need quite a bit of broccoli for that. I got some red grapes, partially for the broccoli salad, and then also just to have on hand for fruit tomorrow. Um, I have one bag of coleslaw mix in the fridge, but I picked up another one because I am gonna make coleslaw on Christmas day for one of the sides that we're having. Adam is gonna smoke. Um, some pork butts tomorrow, and then we're gonna have pulled pork with barbecue sauce. I'm also gonna make potato salad. So that's what I got that bag of potatoes for. 
Um, they were all out of the English cucumbers I normally get at Hy-Vee, so I went ahead and just got two regular cucumbers for the veggie tray. Some cauliflower florets, they had these on sale for like $2.88, which I didn't think was too bad, and I don't have to wash or cut it up, so that's good as well. And then I'm also gonna make the same um, sour cream dip homemade that I made for Thanksgiving. Um, it was really good. It's a recipe from, I think it's called, I think the blog is called Spend With Pennies. It's like sour cream and chive dip. So I'm gonna be making that tomorrow. And then for the macaroni salad um, that I'm gonna make on Christmas day also, I got one red onion and one red pepper. This is like the smallest red pepper I've ever seen. Um, I got some bacon for, I got one pack of bacon for the broccoli salad and then a couple packs of bacon just to have for breakfast for the next few days. And then I think on Christmas day for um, breakfast, we're gonna do eggs Benedict. So I got some Canadian bacon for that. I actually like, I've never seen this one before, this brand, yeah, I mean it's Hormel Canadian bacon, but I liked it because it has the zip top and I don't have to worry about putting it in another container when I open it. I got some beef hot dogs to do pigs in a blanket tomorrow and then some extra thin pepper jack for sandwiches. I got a couple of meats from the deli counter, half a pound of ham and half a pound of roast beef. I still have turkey in the fridge. And then I got a couple packages of cream cheese. I don't think I've ever tried this brand before, but they were all out of the Philadelphia cream cheese at Walmart, or I'm sorry, at Hy-Vee. So I grabbed this instead. I'm gonna be using one of these for the um, Oreo truffles that I'm gonna make. I got two containers of sour cream, and then this is just for me to have, or I guess anyone who wants it. They're these little four ounce cups of cottage cheese. Um, so I thought I would try those. I've never seen them before. And then I got four packs of butter. I got two of the high V. Those were on sale for like $2.98. But then for baking, I kind of wanted a little bit um, more high quality. So I decided to try the challenge butter. I don't believe I've ever tried this brand before. I know I've seen it on Ibotta, but I've just never seen it in stores before. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. I'll just use those for like the cookie recipes that I'm gonna make. I got two half gallons of milk just for recipes. Um, and then some half and half, two dozen eggs. They actually had these on sale at Hy-Vee for $1.49 each, which I thought was a pretty decent price. I got some um, cut, already cut up cheese and some sausage for a meat and cheese tray. And then uh, this is what the kids will have um, Christmas morning for breakfast. Um, these grands at cinnamon rolls since they probably will not prefer to have eggs Benedict. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to stock up on like flour and sugar just to make sure I had enough for baking. So I got one package of white sugar, some goldfish crackers for the Chex Mix or the Christmas Mix that I'm going to make. Um, I got some sausage for breakfast tomorrow. I grabbed just a couple of disposable Christmas plates from Walmart. They were pretty picked over and I think I probably still have some left from last year. I need to look. I am gonna make a chocolate pie for Christmas day. So I needed just one plain Hershey's bar to kind of like shave on top of the whipped cream. Um, I got some barbecue sauce for the um, pulled pork sandwiches that we're gonna have on Christmas. And then Connor wants to make, well, I'll show you this recipe. It's on the cover of this Taste of Home Christmas cookbook that I have. So the actual recipe is to make homemade cupcakes and homemade frosting. I'm not. I'm totally not gonna do that. We're gonna make red velvet cupcakes and frost them <laughs> with green frosting, but he wants to put them uh, in a wreath like this. So instead of making my own, I just figured I would buy pre-made green frosting, make my life a lot easier. I got one bag of powdered sugar and one bag of brown sugar just for baking recipes. Um, mayo and Miracle Whip. I actually use the, there's only a two recipes I ever use Miracle Whip for. It's when I make potato salad, I use half mayo and half Miracle Whip. And then the broccoli salad that I make uses Miracle Whip. So I got one jar of that, one jar of regular mayo, some orange juice. Um, I got the King Arthur baking flour, or the, yeah, all purpose flour. I do think that it makes a difference in baking with when you get like the high quality, more high quality ingredients. I got a couple boxes of mac and cheese just to have on hand some white vinegar because I was running low on that. And then a couple different 
energy drinks. These are the accelerator ones. They're sugar-free. Starberry and Rocket Pop. And then this is the prime rib that I got. And then I got a couple bags of um, red and green M&Ms, some Hershey Kisses. Kira actually just asked me, was I going to make the Hershey Kiss cookies, the peanut butter cookies? I said yes. And then my eight packages of, of Rolos. <laughs> Um, I got these candy canes from Walmart. They're chocolate mint flavored and then some more almond bark for sponge candy. Um, a couple bags of buns for pulled pork sandwiches. And then two of these little boxes of kosher salt. I would have just bought one big box, but they didn't have that in stock. So I got that instead. I got Cheez-Its for the Crispix mix, um, club crackers for meat and cheese tray, some SpaghettiOs for the kids, some olives for the veggie tray. Um, this is the red velvet cake mix that I got to make those cupcakes. Crispix for Crispix mix, and then I got this 7-Up um, Zero Sugar for the punch I'm going to make. These are for sub sandwiches. I have never seen these before at Hy-Vee. They say they are sweet French loaf. I don't know, they just seemed like soft. And I prefer like soft bread for subs, like sub sandwiches, so I grabbed that. I got some Oreo cookies for Oreo truffles and then some eel fudge cookies for the Christmas themed food that I'm gonna make tomorrow. Some green jello for Christmas vacation purposes. <laughs> Um, I got some hash browns from Walmart for breakfast over the next few days. And then a graham cracker crust. This is for the chocolate pie recipe that I'm going to make on Christmas. Um, the chocolate pie recipe also calls for softened vanilla ice cream. So I got two containers of vanilla haagen -Dazs. And then I also got this orange sherbet for the punch. Um, I got some macaroni for the macaroni salad. These saltine crackers are just to have here at home because we were all out. And then I don't like, I don't think I've ever seen the whole Die Hard movie before. I think I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, but apparently there's like a character in there that likes Twinkies. <laughs> so I got a box of Twinkies for that particular theme. And then a couple boxes of uh, cream cheese wontons. These are good in the air fryer, both the kids really like them. And then I got some dark corn syrup to make sponge candy out of, some cocktail sauce. The pretzel rings are for the um, Rolo pretzels that you make in the oven and then you can either put an M&M on top or a pecan on top. They're really good. I got some pretzels for the Crispix mix that I'm going to make. Some soda because we were all out of that. They actually had buy two get two free of packs of um, pull packs of Pepsi at Hy-Vee. So I got two Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi, one Zero Sugar Pepsi, and one Zero Sugar Mountain Dew. Um, I thought these gift or these uh, Ziploc snowflake bags were cute, so I got a couple of those for baking and leftovers. Some Cool Whip for the um, chocolate pie recipe. We got our Stouffer's mac and cheese for the Home Alone theme, and then also cheese pizza. <laughs> For the home alone theme and then this is the this is the DiGiorno stuffed crust and then um both the kids like pepperoni pizza so i got one surfer boy pepperoni pizza as well i have never seen this before at anywhere actually but i found this at hy-vee it's um toasted graham flavored starbucks cake cups so let me know if you've tried that and if you like it and then they had these um snowflake uh, red disposable baking tins so I thought these were cute either if I use these to deliver food for lasagna love or use them for baking so now comes the fun part of putting all this stuff away yay okay so I thought I'd show you quick what I got for the kids stockings um, as always I got too much because I don't really keep track of what I buy and now I'm looking at this and I'm like I'm probably gonna have to wrap some of it um, but I'll kind of show you the main things. So I got Kira this boba tea set. I saw this at Walmart and she does like boba tea, boba tea. So I thought she would like that. This probably won't end up fitting in there. I'll probably have to wrap it. Um, this is a bracelet that she actually had on her wish list on Amazon. Oh, it looks like it's a Sanrio 
um, bracelet. So I got that for her. And then I always get the kids a Pez dispenser, even though they just use it like once and throw it away. It's like a tradition. And I thought, I'm not gonna get the Pez this year, but then I knew that if I didn't get it, they'd be like, where's my Pez dispenser? <laughs> so this one comes with like several Pez. It's just a snowman. And then I got her some mascara and some hair ties and some liquid eyeliner. She can do a mean winged eyeliner. Like I am like, teach me your ways because I've never been able to do a winged eye. Anyway, she does it really well. And she always, she always wears her eyeliner and her mascara. So I got her some different brands of that to try out. Like I said, hair ties. Um, and then also I got her an eye, eyelash curler. I don't know if she has one. I feel like she might, I don't know, but sometimes these wear out. So anyway, I got her a new one of those. And then I actually ordered this from Bath and Body Works, but it's a little um, a boba tea, like hand sanitizer holder with a couple little extra hand sanitizers. So I thought she could clip that on her bag. I ordered this on Amazon, I think on Black Friday. It's just the e.l.f. setting finish. And I know that she really likes um, peppermint bark, so I got her this at Walmart. I actually found this at Hy-Vee. It's a little Nerds lip balm, and she really likes Nerds, so I got that. And then just some little snowman peeps. So I don't know. I might actually, actually, I might be able to put all this stuff. I probably be able to put all this stuff in the stocking, except for the boba tea. So, whoops. Also, even though I'm showing you what I got in my kids' stockings, this video will not be labeled as such because. Um, my kids do not watch my videos. Uh, they never would because they would be bored to tears. But uh, you can bet if they were on YouTube and or they saw, I think they're both subscribed to my channel. So if they saw something come up in their notifications like, Jen Chapin just posted a video of what I put in my kids' stockings. <laughs> you could bet they would be watching that. So I'm not gonna be titling at that. Uh, anyway, Connor, okay. Actually, did, most of you probably know how old my kids are, but if you don't, Kira is 14 and a half. Connor is almost 11 and a half. So having older kids, I feel like has its challenges, especially when it comes to, to Christmas. It does help that they can make Amazon lists. I feel like that is super helpful, especially for Kira, because like the music that she likes, I have no idea what she would like. Um, so that's super helpful. Anyway. Um, and then Connor decided this year that he's not into Legos anymore. So that presents also a problem. Anywho, I found this um, Stranger Things uh, book at Walmart and it's a choose your own adventure, which I think he will be super excited about because I know when I was a kid, I loved, I would go to the library and check out all of the choose your own adventure <laughs> books. Um, and he likes to read anyway. So I thought that would be fun for him. And then I ordered these on Amazon. So they're pop sockets, pop pucks. I don't know, they're collectible magnets. He likes like fidget toys and things like that. So I thought he would like those. And then I found these at Walmart. He, he plays Roblox like all the time. He's either playing Roblox or Fortnite like continuously. And I know he likes pet simulator. So I got him these little, I don't know what they are, mystery eggs. Who the hell knows? Who, who the hell knows what kids like these days? And then I also ordered this on Amazon. It's actually a um, Rubik's, well, it's not a cube because it's a triangle, but it's kind of like a Rubik's cube, only it's shaped like a, I guess it's not really called a triangle, it's probably called a pyramid. But anyway, got him that because I figured he would like that. He actually keeps like the Rubik's cubes and stuff like this, like he keeps them like on his nightstand because sometimes he tells me he has trouble falling asleep, so he'll just like play with fidget toys <laughs> until he falls asleep. I'm like, yeah, whatever works. Um, I got him the Christmas tree Pez dispenser. I got him some of the same things like the snowman peeps. And I got him a Mr. Beast D's Nuts Crunch. I got him these Scarlet and Violet Pokemon cards. And then this um, Nautica body spray. He's like, really into making sure he smells good now that he's in fifth grade. So, you know, how to get that. A push pop and a um, flaming Hot Cheetos beef stick. 
Okay, so I kind of want to just tell you guys what I am planning on doing for the rest of Vlogmas. So today is this video. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve and tomorrow will be um, a vlog. And then hopefully on Christmas Day I can get a Christmas cook with me posted. I'm doing like all of my Christmas baking and prepping for Christmas food tomorrow on Christmas Eve. So hopefully I can film that in a way that's not um, like super hard to edit and I can get it up on Christmas day. If I don't get it up on Christmas day, it will be the day after for sure. Um, and then next week I have a TikTok uh, copycat recipe video coming up. So I'm super excited about that. One other one, I think, oh, it's um, protein, like protein boxes. You know how you get those like protein boxes at Starbucks? Um, well, I did like a price comparison of like making your own at home. And so um, that will be going live next week as well. And then maybe a couple of vlogs. I'm not sure. I'm My plan is supposed to video um, now from every day till the end of December because I missed like a week of vlogmas. But anyway. All right. I am going to go finish wrapping presents because I have been wrapping for like two days straight. And I still have like probably 10 presents to wrap. So. Hope you guys are doing well and Godspeed and uh, shout out to all the moms and dads if you're watching. Mostly it's moms watching my channel, but shout out to all y'all that are making the uh, magic happen because we're the ones that basically make it all happen. So be proud of yourself and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.